All right, today is a uh, sad and exciting day at the same time. After having my nice truck for about a year, almost exactly a year, a little over, I'll be trading it in for a brand new Ford low roof transit cargo van. The reason why I'm trading it in is because I need the room, the cargo room, because I have way too much tools. I'm always digging in here, looking through all this crap, and it is unorganized and there's too much crap and I'm always losing things and can't find things now. So I've been wanting to get one since 2021, but with freaking COVID, all the supply was down and nothing was available. Prices spiked up like crazy. And finally I was able to find one last week. So I'm going to be getting it today. This truck's been really nice to me. I really like this truck. It's really nice. I've only had small issues that I was able to fix myself and it cost like nothing. I added uh, this transmission fluid called Lube Guard Shutter Fix and it helped the transmission shift smoother. And that was only like, what, $10 for that, something like that. Uh, I did a full coolant flush myself. And actually last week, I had an engine code come up. It pops up as P1015 and P1016. It says wastegate solenoid, something about that. But luckily, thank God, someone had the exact same problem. This is a 2016 2.7 liter V6 twin turbo and someone had the exact same problem and all they did was replace that part right there. The one with the white sticker. It's relatively easy. It's just a pain to jump on top of the hood because it's so deep. And you gotta pull those three hoses out and take the the uh, electrical connection off and put a new one in. Took me about 30 minutes. And that part was $50, $55. And I reset the code and so far it's good. Uh, the truck came with this cold air intake, K&N cold air intake. So I did a coolant flush myself a new battery, AGM platinum battery. Uh, I disconnected all these wires, these these wires you see for the, the light bulb and these like floodlights. They work, but I don't think the guy, the previous owner, wired it right, and it slowly drains the battery. So I disconnected it. I wish it didn't, but. It like slowly drains the battery and it's hooked onto a switch, which is really cool. You just click on the switch and there's a switch on both sides and it turns on the, the floodlights. I like it because I can blind stupid drivers that don't have their headlights on or whatnot. Put that 50 cal bullet, headache, rack, back rack. LED lights, LED lights all the way around. Yeah. I'm gonna say goodbye to this awesome truck. It has a hundred, almost 195,000 miles and it's running perfectly smooth. Twin turbo. It's pretty good. All right, I just got back from the dealership. Spent all day at the dealerships trying to get this van. Finally got it after almost three years, but it was a uh, it was a long journey. Look at all this room. There's a lot of work I need to do though. A lot of organizing. It's uh, super echoey in here, and it's super loud when I'm driving because it's just a shell. And uh, I need to get like some sound deafening 
material to make it quiet or whatever I'm driving because it is loud. All you hear is everything outside while you're driving. So, and then we need to work on storage solution. And I'm gonna get some racks on top so I can carry long material. Some other stuff, I'm not sure. Maybe a lock. I need to get a put a lock on here. Spent all day getting the van it was some serious bullshit. I originally was gonna get a different van. Well same van but different different dealership. And I was on my way there. It's an hour drive and the guy texts me it was sold some person swooped in and bought it then there was two vans so they bought both vans stole it from me so i had to hunt down another van i called several dealerships two of them said they have a van and then they called me again later while i was on my way there and said oh sorry it was sold the other day and then finally i was able to go to another dealership and they had actually three vans so now i got my gate out my pack out milwaukee boxes that i bought so i can organize this better already starting to put my tools in here Oh my, I'm gonna keep the tools. I'm finally giving in to Milwaukee's pack out boxes because um, I need a better storage solution because I am very unorganized. I have too much crap. Like all this needs to go in there so I can work efficiently I have too much stuff. So I am in process of putting all this stuff in here. I don't try to figure it out. So we'll see. It's gonna take me a while. <laughs> 